What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to cover how to export your movie from iMovie to upload to YouTube. We're gonna cover the quickest way to do it and we're also gonna cover the highest quality way to do it. So let's dig in. So let's hop over to iMovie. In here, we've got our finished film and we wanna export to YouTube. Now, if you've used iMovie in the past, they did have a connection where you could automatically connect to your YouTube channel and export it or upload it directly. That's since it's not a feature anymore. So what we're gonna do is go up to the top right where the little arrow is, the share button, and we're gonna go to YouTube and Facebook. Now that's a bit of a decoy because basically we're just exporting the movie file. So if you were to go to the same setting and go to export file, it's gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, so if you go to the YouTube setting anyways, over here we're gonna have some options. So most of these don't really matter. We just wanna name this file something that we will recognize on our computer. This is not gonna be the name of the file that uploads to YouTube, just your file that you save on your computer. The one setting that is the most important is the resolution. So this is a setting that we're gonna export our timeline at, at the resolution that it's gonna be. Most likely you want to export in the highest quality possible. Some reasons you might not wanna do that is if you don't have great internet and you need to export a smaller file size so that you can upload it. But besides that, for most reasons, you're gonna to wanna to export at the highest quality. Now, if you click here, right now it's set for the smallest quality. I wanna export at the highest, which that would be 4K, but you might not see 4K as an option. The highest option is going to be whatever your sequence or your timeline setting is set at. And that setting comes from your source footage that you put on it. So if you shot all of your footage in HD, your sequence is gonna be set for HD and HD is gonna be the only option that you can export at. Now, if you do want to override the settings and you have some HD footage, but you want to actually make a 4K project, and there's a couple reasons why you might want to do that, uh, check out my other video on how I go over how you can override iMovie settings and create your own resolution size. But assuming you didn't really change anything, it's going to show whatever your settings are or whatever your project settings are. So I'm going to export at 4K because uh, you know, why not? I want to export at the highest quality possible. Also on YouTube, it will identify 4K videos. Now you get a little extra tag showing that it's 4K and higher quality. So we're gonna click next and we're just gonna find a spot to save it on our computer. So I'm gonna save it in my exports folder and that's it. So we're exporting it from iMovie. We can see a status up here in the corner, a little circle that's gonna show us how the export's going. Usually depending on how complex your project is, it should move pretty quickly. There we go, and it is successful. So we just click show, it'll show us where our file is, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So our movie is exported, so we're gonna hop over to YouTube. We don't have to go to the back end of YouTube, even if we're on the home page. if you just go to the little uh, camera icon, which says create, and we just click upload video, that will take us over to our studio page and automatically load the upload screen. So we're just gonna jump to the folder where we saved our file and upload that. And depending on your internet connection, you know, should move relatively quickly, also depending on your file size. And then over here, we're just gonna run through the basic metadata. Check out, I got some other videos on how to optimize your metadata and make sure more people watch your video and find your video. But you know, you want the basics, title, description. Thumbnail is important. We want a custom thumbnail. So we're not gonna go over how you actually make a custom thumbnail in this video, but you're gonna wanna find a good frame in your video to export. And to do that in iMovie, we, we click the share button, we find the frame, click the share button, and then go save current frame. And that's how we can export a high quality still that we can then bring into a photo app and customize and turn into our custom thumbnail. And then you're just gonna run through the next screens. If you have monetization on, you have the options for that. You can add extra video elements, your cards or your end screen. Uh, it'll check for any copyright violations or mark if there's anything that it needs to be aware of. And then you can either keep it on standby or post it immediately. This is a very quick overview for how to upload to YouTube, but this part, uh, you can check out the other video and it's also, they make it very easy as far as navigating it and uploading it. But the main thing is how we get it out of iMovie. Now that was the quickest and easiest way to do it. If you want to export and upload in the highest quality possible, what we're going to want to do is come back to our timeline. Uh, we're going to click that same share button, but this time we're going to go to export file. And that's gonna give us a couple more options over our settings. So when we go to YouTube and Facebook, it's gonna compress the file into the recommended specs uh, for uploading to YouTube. That's still gonna compress the file a little bit and uh, lower our quality, despite that it says you know, HD or 4K. We have no options over how we're gonna export the video. So if we come over to the export dialog box, we get some more options. So again, we have the same resolution settings and this is again gonna be limited by based on whatever our timeline settings are at. So if it's just a 1080 HD timeline, that's gonna be our max option, but we have 4K, so we can export in 4K. And now quality, high is probably gonna be good enough for you, but if you really wanna export it in the highest quality possible, you wanna hit best, and that's gonna export it in ProRes. But as you can see, our file size now jumped massively. We go from high, 289, so that's gonna still add a lot of compression to it. 
to best 3.4 gigabytes. ProRes is a pro level video codec. Uh, now, if your source footage was shot on an iPhone, exporting it at a higher resolution or using more professional codecs uh, and settings isn't gonna magically make your video look higher quality. This is really if you shot on something that was higher quality to start with and you wanna maintain that quality and make it not get compressed. And the good news is on YouTube, you can upload ProRes QuickTime files. Uh, YouTube will accept it. It does take a while for YouTube to compress it itself, but YouTube's gonna compress your files no matter what you upload. So the theory is it's better to upload the highest quality footage possible to YouTube and let it compress it versus uploading something that's already compressed and then YouTube compresses it again. So if you have the space, you have the time and you have the determination, you're gonna export it as a ProRes and that's gonna be the best. But also if you want something in between high and best, we can come to custom and that's gonna give us an option for what bit rate we want to export at. And so bit rate is just basically the target of how much data that we want our video to be compressed at. So the bigger the number, the less compression, the higher quality it's gonna be, but also the bigger file size. And you can drag this in real time and see how it's going. So high is about 40, the preset of high. See our settings are pretty similar. So if we go all the way to the max, which is 66.6, .6, that's gonna be a higher quality than high, but as we can see, it's still a lot smaller file size than ProRes. So if you didn't shoot anything, if you shot on your phone and you, or you shot on a regular DSLR camera that was not in a raw format or anything kind of crazy uh, professional level wise, your best bet for the highest quality is just gonna to go to custom and change your setting to the highest, drag it all the way to the right. In this case, 66 megabits per second. And then also the last setting, compression, it's default set is faster. So your computer's gonna move faster, but it's also gonna apply more compression to your video. If you have the time, you can click better quality and that will apply less compression to it, but it will make the export a little bit longer. And that's it. So now same deal, we're just gonna export again and save it as a new file. And then this, the process is exactly the same. We're gonna take that file and upload it to YouTube. I'm not gonna go over how to do that again. It is the same exact process as before. And that's it. I alluded to it earlier, but if you have any issues uploading, like your upload times out, it may be your internet connection. Lots of times, internet service providers, they advertise a high speed internet, but that's irrelevant when uploading to YouTube because that advertised speed is your download speed and we wanna do our upload speed. Uh, you can find out what your upload speed is. My favorite one is just go to fast.com. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you want more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.